hi before we start the course we want to i want to use uh, visual studio code for this course so please download vs code and install live preview on it so anyway i will tell you when we use it so there is a plugin called live preview where you can actually write the html code and see the preview on the same screen without going on to the browser okay so now let's see what what is uh, html hypertext markup language okay now why is it called html hypertext is within the text we can embed the links that is why it is called hypertext so within the text if you can embed the link and when you click on that link you are going to go to the other video other website for example if this is the text if i click on the link it is going to the other web page now if i click here it is going to the other web page so like this we are jumping so that is why it is called as hypertext or not because we are jumping it is because we are using the links in the text okay now what is markup so markup is highlighting a code for example here we have highlighted the code using quotes right this is a markup similarly we can write we can highlight the text using html there are a lot of tags for example there are these many tags and most of them or some of them are actually highlighting the text initially when they have invented html there were only few tags and most of them were actually highlighting the code that is why it was called markup okay so that is why it is called hypertext markup now let's see heading tag so heading tag can have h1 h2 h3 so on h6 these are head heading tags right go to the next slide now you should understand what is a tag what is an element so whatever you write within the angular braces here and here these are called as tags so this part only this part is called as a tag and this this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag closing tag generally has forward slash and this part is called as the contents contents of the tag okay and everything put together is an element okay i hope you understood it this is a tag this is the content and everything put together is an element that is the classic confusion what is a tag and what is an element okay so now when you are using h1 you are going to have okay it is better we will come back to this first let's do some programming so let us say we have a book and this is the index chapter 1 section 1 section 2 chapter 2 section 1 diagram chapter 3 section 1 section 2 are there let us say this is what we have and we want to arrange it in terms of headings like big heading small heading even smaller heading like that we are going to use h1 h2 h3s okay so now let's see a preview of this if i so there is a plugin for vs code you can you can make a note of it it is called as live preview if you install that plugin then if you click on the if you right click on it and it there it will show show preview and if you click on show preview it is going to show you how these lines if written in a normal uh, if you open it in a normal web web browser then how is it going to look like so they are going to look like this so everything is in the same line and everything is unorganized there is, there are no sizes and all now let's try to add elements to it h1 h1 h2 h3 let's try to make them elements okay for the book we can use h1 and for chapter 1 we are using h2 and then section we are using h3 so for every chapter we are going to use h2 for every chapter we are going to use h2 and for every section we are going to use h3 and if there is something present inside a section then we are going to use h4 for chapter h2 
suction H3. Now you can see that on the right hand side, you are seeing that it is actually uh, looking much better. Okay. So now let's see what are the do's and don'ts when you are using heading. So don't use two H1s in the same web page. It is generally a, it is not a rule, but it is a tradition. Like you should not use two H1s in the same page unless it is required. Try to avoid it. And you have to use H1 and H2, not H1 and H1. Okay, next. And then don't use H1 then H3. So don't skip any levels. So you should use H1 then H2. You should not use H1 then H3. Right. So you have to use H1 and then H2. Okay. Thank you.